Krishna, sir, would you like a spiritual cookie? It's really good, very tasty. Hi, Krishna, would you like a cookie? It's spiritual. Prashadam. Prashadam if you got them. Excuse me, Hare Krishna, would you like a uh, cookie? It's, okay. a, it's a holy cookie, prashadam, good for the soul. Thank you. Have a good day. Hare Krishna, would you like a cookie? Get a job. Better than your meat cookies. Hare Krishna, would you like a cookie? You're welcome. Enjoy. Prashadam. Good for the soul. Uh, yeah. Krishna, would you like a cookie? I don't feel obligated to worship God. Okay, God took my parents away. I can understand that. But that's the way karma works. People are worshiping all over the place. People worship athletes, rock stars, anybody with six-pack abs. Even themselves. All substitutes for Krishna. Devotees are trying to break this worship anything but God habit. It's a tougher habit to break than smoking. What was that you were saying about karma? Karma means action. Yeah, you know, we suffer or enjoy the reactions to things we do in this life or in past lives. Past lives, but like reincarnation? Exactly. What, what, that exists? Oh, it's a fact. Oh yeah? How do you know? <laughs> well, I know I was a woman in my past life. A woman? What? Shut up. God, it's too much. I, I can't even digest it. That's because you still eat meat. It dulls the brain. You know, I feel sorry for you. I do. I mean, you're so absorbed in your God. You just, you're missing out on everything. God is everything. What am I missing? Going to bed with you? You're the impersonalist. Hey, Patty. Meg, darling. Where have you been? First things first. Ooh, looks like man troubles. <sighs> Close. 
Bless me, Patty, for I have sinned. I'm dating a religious zealot. It's impossible. It's the whole thing's impossible. Men are impossible. And religious men, I mean, God knows. Well, how could you get involved? No, not a priest. Oy vey, not a rabbi. No, nothing like that. It's a preachy guy that works at the office. Oh, honey, you shouldn't work there. I mean, you're meeting all the wrong people. But tell me about your preacher guy. Cute? Cute. Well, yeah. Bald. Voluntarily bald. And uh, kind of oddly attractive. But he's always talking about how God is the most attractive person. Oh, right. A Hare Krishna. How'd you know? They're all mad about the personality of Godhead Krishna. Uh, yes, wild people. I've read some of the books. Even went to a temple. <laughs> you. Well, I'm always stuck in the L.A. airport. So I went to the temple once, but nobody talked to me. I think I was overdressed. Well, he talked to me. I wish he didn't. Why? Because we argued. I fight with everybody, right? But today it just blew up. You know, the big bang. It was, it was beautiful. I slapped him. A slapping argument? Oh, how romantic. For God's sake, Meg, go after him. Give him what he wants. What he wants is to be celibate. He doesn't want my body. He wants to send me, my, my spirit self, back to Krishna. Mm, do you think he's after your money? No, he doesn't even know I have money. I'm working incognito. You're sure he doesn't know who you are? I don't even know who I am. <laughs> like, multiple personality girl. <laughs> Rich bitch, the frumpy Megan, the uptight office manager. He says I'm a soul. It's like a 50-year-old businessman by day, ditzy socialite by night. I'm tired of being all these people. It just goes on, on, on. Oh, on. Poor lost soul. Ramo man, how goes it? Nice prashadam, huh? Yeah, donuts, my favorite. <laughs> What's up, Prabhu? Megan's up. I'm trying to make her devotee, you know? But it's complicated. Yeah, you should marry her. <laughs> Prabhu! I'm trying to make her a devotee. That's all. That's all? That's all. Please. Maybe Krishna sent her to help you do more service. See what you can do for Krishna together. Gopal, look at me. Could you see me married? Why not? What are you, some kind of sage in the forest? I mean, even those guys have wives, right? I can't believe you're saying this. You know I'm into celibacy, right? I know you're into her. And I know there can be single celibacy and married celibacy. Single sounds safer. Triple S. It's not what I've heard. Depends on what you're committed to. A relationship or just not having sex. Look at her. She likes kirtan. She's intelligent, generous. A devotee who could really help you do a lot of service. You know, she probably still eats meat and drinks. 
probably probably means you don't know. Don't make decisions on something you don't even know. Help her. Be patient. I just don't know if it's love or illusion. I feel like I need to escape. I'll say this, Prabhu, because I'm your friend. I think Krishna wants you to change your act. You're never gonna find another girl like this. Never, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> you think I could really, really be married? Yeah, if you could be celibate in Chelsea, you can do anything. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Megan, uh, this is uh, Gianna Gummia. Say that three times fast. <laughs> uh, Gianna. Yeah, Gianna's yeah. good. Megan uh, works at the agency. Oh, really? Yeah? Yeah, new office manager. You met there? That's how you met? Actually, well, we've known each other longer than that. In my previous life, he was my disciple. Of course, now I'm his follower. I would say stalker. <laughs> hey. <laughs> how you guys know this? How's life, life progression. progression. Yeah. Mm. Really? That's far out. That's really amazing. <laughs> yeah. Ken is actually a CPA, and um, he is not shy about being a Hare Krishna, you know? So he gives out prasadam to clients. He really yeah. brings his spiritual life into the office in a nice way. Um, Kiana, yeah. um, I've been actually trying to, to figure out a way to combine my professional. Oh, yeah? You want to take a walk? Sure, absolutely. He's doing books. You're, You're going to talk now? You're going to leave me alone and yeah, talk to each other? Go care. easy on her, Kiana. We'll see you, all right. You guys are kind of weird, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> it's past life stuff. Well, Ram introduced me to Krishna consciousness. And now I'm making devotee friends, learning so much. Oh, it's great, you know, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. I want to have a Krishna conscious family. And I, I want this with Ram. You don't mince words, do you? I mean, you're just very, really upfront. But he's not reacting the way I was hoping he would when I started my devotional path. I could pitch you a lot of sound bites about that, but uh, you know, basically devotees just depend on Krishna for what they want. Thanks. This philosophy is so different, you know? And so many devotees seem to have a, a close relationship with Krishna. Yeah, well, we depend on Krishna and we're grateful for whatever he, he gives us. I volunteered to, to help distribute prasadam now. But 
I hope to see you again soon. All right, great. It's terrific to meet you. Bye bye now. What was that? Megan, I love you. I want to marry you. I do. But I didn't send that card or those flowers. Well, then who did? No, don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Megan. But no, don't. Don't. Don't talk. Don't say a word. I just received a fake office prank marriage proposal. Yeah. And I accepted it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the most humiliating part of this is? Do you? I still want to marry you. Yes. I do. <laughs> Jerk! Why did you wait so long to ask? Well, technically, see, I didn't ask. <laughs> but I wanted to. I, I wanted to. Megan, you're so humble. You know that? You're, you're so advanced. I love you. You hate me. Just an illusion to keep you in the material world. No, no, no. No, your body, my body, all bodies, they're illusory. But, but there's some reality to them, they, but they're just temporary. You see, we're actually spirit souls inside the body. You have to read the book. No. No. Just no, no philosophy. I'm going to hear with philosophy. I'm having a philosophical breakdown. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you should take it easy. I think you're getting a little hot. Hot? Yeah, a little bit. Hot. You want to see hot? Jangani, jat 